Welcome to another installment in NZX's Issuer Milestone series. I'm joined today by the CEO of Z Energy, Mike Bennett. Mike, welcome. Hi, great to be here. Just for a bit of background for our listeners at home, Mike, uh, Z obviously listed on the exchange last August in 2013, so you're coming up a year, mm. which is really, really exciting. What differences have you noticed at the helm of Z over that time? Well, we already had the practice of being a public company. We had debt that was listed on the NZDX, and we also reported through Infratil, so we we're very used to the public disclosure type thing. What the difference is for us, I think, is just greater responsibility. We serve a wider base of shareholders, and there is more stakeholder interest in what we do, so we take that responsibility, obviously, very seriously. And for those mum and dad investors out there at home that are following Z mm. share price, I mean, can you give us a wee sneak peek about what's in store for the next year's growth plans? Yeah, we've already advised the market through our recent investor day that we've got about 40 to $50 million worth of EBITDA, or your operating cash profit we can put on top of the underlying business. And we're doing that essentially through an evolution of what we're already doing. So doing deeper retail, getting more sites out there, upgrading our store offer, and a couple of new customer offers I can't tell you about at this stage. Uh, managing our commercial portfolio, so the B2B segment that we serve and just managing our supply chain in a much more effective and opti optimal way. And Mike, a lot of the CEOs that we've interviewed as part of this series have spoken about how listing on the exchange uh, and what it's meant to them personally. Mm. Can you just summarise that for us? Yeah, well, probably two things actually. Uh, one is I get a lot more advice on how to run the company. <laughs> And actually, I've, I think that's really good because there's a lot more diversity of thinking, whether it comes from institutional shareholders, uh, mums and dads who take the time to write me a letter or, or give me a call. So I, I really appreciate that. And uh, secondly, people pay more interest to what we have to say. Uh, and I think that's a good thing. We have some things to say. We like to provide thought leadership in certain areas. So have it being, having a greater listening for what you have to say, I think, is a really important part of being able to use that wisely or oh, don't misuse it might be another way of, of putting that. So yeah, it's great to get lots of advice and it's good that more people listen to what we have to say. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining us.